Here in Utah, it feels like we can stretch our patriotic flair a little longer than usual, right? From Memorial Day to Pioneer Day, it's an appropriate decor approach. Well, you add with this year's Olympic Games, and we can rock the red, white, and blue pretty much all summer long, which makes it worth a little added effort. We are starting today off with a festive refresh to your front porch. My first guest says you can create patriotic curb appeal with the addition of inviting and unique DIY projects. Jody Sanford joins me today with ideas to perfect the patriotic porch. Welcome back to Studio 5, sister. Thank you. I'm seeing just glimpses of your beautiful brain here on display, and I'm already excited. And the idea of a patriotic porch, I think a lot of women can get on board with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's actually my favorite holiday of the year. Me too. So I love the 4th of July, and I love summer. So it's fun to be able to decorate and kind of share that patriotism. Isn't it the best for everyone holiday? To see? Yeah. Like a bold color scheme, good barbecue, food, fireworks, yeah. family. It's simple. Yeah. But it's summer at its very, very best. So you've got a beautiful setup that with so many details to talk about. Let's start with what I'll call the showstopper and that is the ribbon flag behind us. It's yes. so cool. Awesome. So this is, I've had this on my porch for years. So you can tell that's a little weathered and worn Which from the. I actually love. Yeah. It adds it makes to it the look. Fun. Betsy Ross would be proud. The lace, the drippings, they're so pretty. How did you do yes. this? So we're going to show you a little sampling of what we did. I kind of made this in a smaller format so okay. that we could show off what we're doing. But yeah. mine, I actually use hot glue, but for the show, we're going to show you an even easier way where you're not even using hot glue. We're so going to hook you, this all together. You've got doilies. You've got layers yep. kind of stacked of fabric yep. and you've got button detail. You yes. went for more of a vintage red, white, and this blue. This one's more of a vintage and most of the stuff I brought with me today is a little bit more of a traditional. More poppy. Pal. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Right. So I kind of range when I decorate my porch. I'm like, oh, what do I want this year? So And you're yeah. going to show us, but as I deconstruct a dowel with some twine, so fairly simple yep. to do. This is so yes. cute. I want to touch and comb yes. and stare. Show us how you did this, Jody. Okay. So you're going to take a dowel. So this one I did a mini one mm -hmm. and obviously that one's a lot bigger. And you can um, get finials. They're called finials, the little cute ends. I, I just learned took... that. I learned that last year. Oh, you did? Adulting 101. I didn't yeah. know that. Now I know. I know. I had, I think I learned it myself when I was making these. So okay. it's fine. We're the same. Um, so for this one, I just got some wood beads because yeah. I was using a smaller dowel here. Yeah. Um, I just kind of got it started so that we could see okay. uh, how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to lay my ribbon out just so I kind of get a fill for the look I'm going for. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to start going. Yeah. And all we're going to do on this one is we're actually just going to tie the ribbon. Okay, so you can on. use hot glue like you said. Yes. So on mine... I think the hot glue is really nice because then you can just glue everything down where if you don't want to use hot glue, you're kind of doing a little bit more stitching Okay. Uh, to get the doilies to stay in place because they can't just lay there, especially with the wind blowing if you right. have it outside. But this is a cute indoor decoration too. So really all we're doing is just we're going to tie these on here. And the fun is in the selection. So many beautiful ribbons oh, yeah. these days. Did you go for any sort of a pattern or a rhyme or a reason in how you curated this ribbon collection? You know what? I love ribbons, so I have a lot of She's ribbons. like, I just so shopped I, my collection. I actually did do that. My personal stash. Um, so I will, I, but I'll stop anywhere. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, all of them have like different ribbons. And if you know what you're looking for, you can really get a nice mix. And I do love to mix it up so that I'm getting different textures. And I think I say that every single time I'm here. <laughs> I'm talking about texture, but I love the differences, like these fun little star. Well, I think it's um, what your artistic eye knows that the rest of us kind of feel, but sometimes can't see that. That texture does add an element, right, of interest yes. and of style and the lace. I think you have to have lace on this project. Yes, I think so too. I think it's a really pretty one. I can't get that these, one's not going to want to play with you. These ones are actually harder to do, but they they really do work. If they you work can out. Find these, they're fun. So so no worries on how many red, how many blue. I do like how on yours. I keep coming back to this. Sorry, yeah, but I love how yeah, you just did the red here and the blue here, so it's yes, kind of more accurate to the. You can. Yep, that's you fun. Can mix that. So it's just more like if you what what kind of color palette you're going for, and we did definitely do that more on that one. Where this one, um, we have kind of mixed a lot of the blues and the reds and the whites all in there. Okay. So once you get all your ribbons on there, mm -hmm. you're actually just going to take some scraps, and I will I just grab a few different fabric scraps. Do you have a fabric collection like your ribbon collection? I, I do. <laughs> I do some I do some designing of fabrics. Yes, so sometimes you do. I get my own, and then. I'll reuse it, but I like to, and the, you guys, you don't even have to cut this perfect because I definitely cannot cut straight lines, but this is just like a nice way to 
um, keep it from fraying too much, but it'll still fray a little bit. So then you still get that little bit of a worn look. Yeah. So you're just gonna do that along the whole thing, obviously. And you use pinking take... shears or a scallop, I this guess. This one's edge. a scallop yeah. edge, but yeah, pinking shears, scallop edge. Cute. Cute. And then you'll be trimming this down to and different sizes. And you glue sizes. that or what did you do? So I, I did hot glue that. If you, like I was saying before, if you don't like to use hot glue, could mm -hmm. you, or even if you're doing it as a kid craft, mm -hmm. you don't want your kids touching the hot things, I would actually fold that right over okay. and stitch oh, it and together. Oh, and stitch it just right across. Because you're going to put a little doily right over the top. So we layer. So you're not going to really, yeah, so it's all about adding the layers to it. Okay, look at that. So, and then you'll add like embellishments, buttons, whatever it is that you think you want. At the very end, you're just going to tie your little string on. So cute. To add it. So super simple, but really Really a showstopper, it is. I mean, like that's the most complimented decor oh. I probably get every year. I'm not surprised. You're so. asked about it. And because of that, you've put together kind of an online guide. Yes, I did. I put together an online guide for everyone. So all you have to do is go to uh, makeaprettylife.com. And it's the, it's actually the first thing that'll pop up. Okay. So you'll make be able to download it. Makeaprettylife.com. Yep. Download that. Plenty of time to make it for the prominent holiday. And then as yes. we said, it can stretch into August. Yeah. I leave mine up all summer. Do you? Yeah, yeah I, love I do. I love it. It's so cute. Okay. The flag, the showstopper. Tell us about this. This tin though what have you done hey, here so this is just like it's a little metal tin that I had and it's got all these little openings in it and so I love to fill that up for like kids these are cute little I made these they're just little wooden dowels oh that my you gosh, can get darling. like at the dollar store yes decorate them little girls love to run around and be little fairies with you know cute. do fun things with those I've added some little plastic glasses you can pick up at Walmart the cute little star glasses so it becomes a fun stash yeah it's just kind of like a little bin where people can go to their yeah. sparklers okay Whatever, just something fun to add a little pop to your porch, but it's also useful because you can put things. Now, I saw yeah. some porch signs. Yes, okay, so I love, again, we're back to the Shoot. texture thing. I love mixing the textures, yeah. and I love adding the wood. Um, this one is not a DIY. You can DIY, but I love 12 Timbers because they make perfect porch signs. And <laughs> so then I just can buy them. They make them custom. If you want a custom porch sign, or I loved this one, because this one's perfect for all year round and you can add any decor. I just kind of threw a ribbon on there to add to, to it. To it up. So 12 yeah. Timbers is your favorite source. Welcome to our porch. I love that. Yeah. The pillows finish it off. Yes, yeah, so just a couple little Americana pillows with a cute little red chair that I have at home, and I just kind of finish everything off and tie it all together. And Darling. Yeah, Well, so this is fun. where we would say still time, but again, you have a long runway to enjoy all of these red, white, and blue details. Jody, thank you so much. Again, give thank us your you. website where we can see it all come together. It's makeaprettylife.com. Okay, we'll link you over from our website as well as an easy connection point, and happy fourth, sister. Thanks thank for sharing. So I'm going to make one. I am.